hard time keeping up with everything that's going on <laughs> in late night TV. I'll take that. We've got the segment just for you. Joining us now is our producer and contributor, David Plummer, with his segment, Laughing at I stay up and watch these. I know you do yeah. too. Val is usually in bed, so this is Knocked her first out. time getting to see these. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's well, that's right. why I love it. I'm not the only one. No, no. This, that's why we created this segment, just yep. for just for you and viewers like you. Yep. And we're going to start with Jimmy Kimmel, who uh, is poking a little bit of fun at the uh, with the Miss American pageant. Yeah, you know, so there's uh, there are several things that people make fun of about the Miss America pageant <laughs> and these beauty pageants in general. But he specifically had a little issue with some of the graphics they were putting up during some of the oh. uh, talent performances. So let's take a look. One of the strangest parts uh, were the fun facts that would pop up on screen. They had little facts about each contestant, and these are real, I promise. We didn't make a single one of these up. fun fact <laughs> maybe if you're a zambian cheetah that's a fun fact but... <laughs> yeah i don't know whose idea that was that was real yeah, that was no. absolutely, that was not a bit. That oh actually, during the Miss America that's pageant, odd. that stuff popped up. Uh, it's very strange, but they're always trying to make things a little different with TV, trying to shake it up, and that's oh, the way they went. Yes, so. okay. Okay. Good Zan. for Jimmy for calling it out. Exactly. Yeah. Crazy. All right, now this has to be good, because Jimmy Fallon had uh, Steve Harvey, one of Al's favorites oh, on his show. Yeah, yes. Steve Harvey was on uh, Jimmy Fallon the other night, and of course they had to play a little bit of the family feud, because mm -hmm. Steve is, of course, the host of the syndicated family feud. He's uh, good on that. Yeah, he mm -hmm. is. Now, Jimmy's, Jimmy's uh, writer and actually announced Steve Higgins, he blurted out a funny answer that sort of brought the game to a screeching halt. So let's take a look. And fill in the blank. I love to play with my what? Steve. Yeah, say it. Say it. What is ding dong? Sure. <laughs> One of these nights, I'm going to stay up late and watch it all. You really sure. All right. Well, next up is David Letterman, who had fun with Dr. Phil. Yeah, so they were talking about they're, they're both guys that are in their 60s, they're getting yeah. a little older, and Dr. Phil said something a little salty, not realizing who was in the audience. So let's watch. Oh. Eventually, <laughs> once you hit 60, who cares? <laughs> I mean, the clock is ticking. Yeah, what, you know. We're a hell of a lot closer to the end than the beginning. Mm -hmm. And when you get there, you kind of get where <laughs> it. What are they going to do? Fire us? camera ready to go on they the, on the priest exactly that's yeah. hilarious all right what about john stewart now he he took on what the, the ray rice situation yeah he took on the ray rice situation only the way that john stewart can he can take a very serious a very serious thing that everybody's been talking about and sort of put a little funny spin on it so okay. let's watch announcing players will get a six game suspension for their first domestic violence offense <laughs> ah! let that be a lesson <laughs> to NFL players everywhere. If you hit a woman, they will not let you hit a man for six more weeks. I believe. <laughs> oh, wow. I know. Okay. They got to be so careful about the jokes because yeah. you know, if yeah. the wrong person's watching, mm -hmm. they don't take it the right way. This is a very touchy subject, but he does it very, very well. Mm -hmm. Well, a John Stewart alum is John Oliver. I actually watched him this week, so I'm wondering which uh, clip you're going to highlight. Uh, what, what we talked about here is, you know, we as Americans don't understand how Scotland is trying to separate itself and become mm -hmm. its own country, uh, separate from the United Kingdom. So he sort of put a little spin on this. He had some fun with the fact that we don't understand it. So let's take a look. Now, there is a lot to explain here, especially because when most American people think about Scottish independence, they tend to picture this. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! Oh, yes, nothing screams Scottish freedom quite like a millionaire Australian anti-Semite on horseback. <laughs>
is never gonna get yeah he's no. never gonna get past all that no. stuff. Never. Not no, as long as people years. like John Oliver are there to yes. call him out. So. Oh, that was thanks, funny. David. That was some good stuff. Yeah. All right, and thanks for watching Windy City After Dark. We're gonna see you later on at eleven AM.